every day it is at least coming after 16 18 20 years and if we talk about larger cycles it is coming after 90 years 90 years so either you have two choices either you, you you can be scared or you can say wow this is my time so this is one of the banner structures which is how you want to view it uh, the, the banner cycle this slides are available will be available on the website you can map you can map it i showed you few of them and you can map it with the back testing is this is a this is too early for back testing now but we could we could run you through the numbers okay so then we are talking about schumpeter schumpeter was the person austrian economist german austrian economist and he talked about trying to understand a structure of time so he said okay let's try to add the various cycles there were there were a kuznet cycle there was a kondratev cycle there was a there was a there was a uh, there was a kitchen cycle juggler cycle so he tried to somewhere add together to make a common theory of cycles a big big name uh, in german economics then there was herbert simon father of behavioral finance 1950 he wrote the first paper which started the subject herbert simon father of artificial intelligence and uh, herbert simon uh, nobel prize winner 1976 he said that complexity is intrinsically simple and hierarchical he said complexity market societies or anything organic is basically simple and hierarchical nested so this, uh, this is one of the things he said then he was trying to understand the order of markets then there was tony plummer who talked about a structure in time he said that if you look at the various cycles inventory cycle every 40 month 40 month is a very widely visible cycle in stock markets 40 months 36 months it's more seen in in dow jones and in us equity but 36 months is a very popular cycle three years three uh, you know three and a half years so so that's called the kitchen inventory cycle then there is juggler cycle clement juggler was was a doctor physician and uh, you know an economist and then there was brian berry then there was strauss and hoff who talked about various degrees of cycle and and plummer said that three kitchens made a juggler three jugglers made a berry three berries made a strauss and hoff he said that these are all connected with a factor of three so he started they started talking about some structure in time which was very similar to what banner what banner has had said but banner did not uh, banner's work was not connected with uh, with plumber's work about 3 3 is a very popular number we talk about in technical analysis three trend lines we talk about head and shoulder which again are three triangles we talk about um, you know like fib Fibonacci retracement, we have three big retracement, 38.250, 61.8. Three, the number three is very uh, is very key in charting and now uh, and three is very popular in a societal expression also. If you see colors of flags, colors of big brands, they use three colors. You know, so the colors and the structure, three has a very, very strong significance. Now, Tony Plummer said that time look like this. There was a start of a time there was a peak of a time there was an end of the time and then this time started all over again so this was a large time then, I, uh, then if you break it up it was still similar structure so he proposed this structure in his book and uh, then of course they were they were so we were starting to get into fractals fractals were something which were subdividing in itself like if you if you take a if you take a pine tree and if you break a branch the branch looks like a uh, like a pine tree so fractals are self similar structure if you break it 
it looks similar. If you break it again, it looks similar. It is built of parts of itself, multiplied in many ways. So this was Mendelbrot. Mendelbrot was the uh, uh, was the father of fractals, and he said that if you take markets DNA as Markets going up, markets going down, and then going up again, an uptrend, a downtrend, an uptrend. And if this was the basic structure of the markets, then it was subdividing. And if it was subdividing in itself, then you can understand that how markets are a mathematical structure. So this was his paper, which he wrote in 1999, where he talked about that markets being a fractal structure. And what we said was that why just to focus. on the price why can't we focus on the time so we said let's focus on the time and assume there is an up time and there is a down time and this is a basic dna of time and if we subdivide it in itself then we again get the market structure so our proposal or our idea was that time something looks like a head and shoulder structure time was a head and shoulder structure you could actually pinpoint when is a low risk entry point and when is the least risk entry uh, uh, risk entry point when is the least risk of 10 years when is the least risk of 100 years so you could identify one entry from another one exit from another if you understood the structure of time so this was the structure of time the best